Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 28th, 2021. Well, my goodness, as we wind down this year, um, all of a sudden it seemed like Santa Claus showed up. My worry yesterday of resistance levels above just seemed to be absolutely worthless um, as they continued to push to the upside. Um, so what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. And my goodness, we had quite the push yesterday to the upside. What was really remarkable is that we continued to push to the upside with internal staying actually quite weak. And that um, volume just really, really anemic throughout the day. This seemed to be like an institutional um, engineered move yesterday where we were melting to the upside with a lot of institutional just grinding push to move us higher. So how did that end up for the day? Well, yesterday we broke through in the Dow, we broke through this resistance right in here and we're really up here testing this level right in here, trying to push on through and press up to new record highs in the Dow. So as you can see, we're even gapping higher here this morning. Um, remarkable rally when you think about it. If we uh, jump right over here to the Dow, um, let me measure here in the Dow where we were just five trading days ago and where we are this morning we're looking at almost 1700 points higher here in the market with no rest and almost every day a gap left behind truly remarkable as we continue to just ignore um, valuations in this market there seems to be nothing here that will hinder that bullish speculation as we continue to press and press and press. However, although there is all this excitement, I want to remind everyone to be just a little bit careful that um, as we chase and we continue to extend one, two, three, four, five, six days to the upside, there is that possibility that we could run into a few bears that might push things down. So we can't rule out that possibility of a pop and drop, and we can't rule out that possibility of a new high rejection, kind of like we did over here. So kind of keep that in mind as we press to the upside. I would caution everyone of chasing stocks that aren't at a low risk entry level. Those stocks that are already well extended uh, may um, add some significant risk to your portfolio. So be kind of careful here. Now you may be in the camp that just says, hey, I'm just gonna throw everything out and I'm just gonna buy, buy, buy because the market just wants to go up. And that may be the case, but once again, um, there's an awful lot of risk in chasing already extended stocks. Let's take a look at the SPY now. SPY, new record highs again yesterday. Um, 65 plus new records this year. Um, it seems a, a, a very... Um, normal thing anymore where we um, have overnight futures low but then the pre-market pump pushes us up for a new record and we're looking to do that here this morning so breaking through resistance in the chart the only thing we really have to worry about here on the spy is if those bears do come in and say hey we've just kind of gone a little bit too far too fast then that resting pullback in here could be just a little bit uncomfortable if we pull back into that level of price support but if that were to hold, then it's all systems go to the upside for those bulls. Um, keep in mind, if they were to push back down below that level, we have another area of little price support in here. If they were to push back, if those bears were to come in. But right now, it doesn't seem like um, anyone cares about evaluation or prices of these stocks. Just buy something and um, we're continuing to move higher. Now, notice once again, volume uh, extremely low as we're setting these new highs. So that makes for a little bit of an uncomfortable situation as well if this were to flip. Now here in the NASDAQ, looks like we're gonna set a new record high here at um, the open. In the NASDAQ, we're gonna 
going to push on through. Now remember, we had this rejection up here in the past. So just because we're gapping up doesn't mean that those bears can't come in. We've seen an awful lot of the pop and drop pattern here recently and just over and over and over as a matter of fact where we try to push and gap up and then reverse on the day. So we can't rule out that possibility, albeit the uh, amazing amount of financial news hype about new records and oh my gosh, the Santa Claus rally is finally here and hooray, hooray, hooray. But be a little bit careful as we approach that resistance level in the chart. If we were to pull back, however, there is a pretty substantial level of price support in here if we were rejected. So if we pop up in here and pull back, watch for right in here, um, if we were to pull back and find some support. If that were to fail, that's where it gets a little bit uncomfortable because we could move uh, down substantially. These are big point moves here in the market. So that increases that level of danger. Then if we take a look at that Russell, the Russell had another upside day yesterday. But I got to tell you, there's really nothing here impressive about the Russell um, at the moment. Still under tremendous resistance here in the chart. And as a matter of fact, maybe signaling the actual weakness of the market here um, overall. Now, keep in mind, um, uh, the Russell is still underneath its 50-day moving average. It did test that 200-day, and it's trying to pop that 200-day in the pre-market this morning. But keep in mind, um, our 200-day is um, uh, a little bit of a resistance level and that 50 day moving average is actually in decline. So maybe we can push on through, but let's watch those levels pretty closely. There's a lot of price congestion there on the Russell. If I were looking for something short, and as a matter of fact, I will be looking for something short here in the market, um, Russell might be the place that I would be looking. IWM puts might be a place to hedge this upside move for a pullback. Let's take a look at our um, VIX here this morning. Now our VIX, interestingly enough, as strong as the move was yesterday, our VIX, well, we had popped up early in the day. We were showing a little bit of stress in here. So we pulled back by the end of the day with that surge, um, particularly right at the end, um, nice little surge back up. So we're back below that uh, 20 handle and we have a little price support in here. We've given up that upside trend. So fear doesn't seem to be strong here in this market, but we still run that risk that we could find a little bit of price support. If we were to catch that pop and drop, um, in the market we could see that bounce up off of there but right now it doesn't seem to be a major concern by anyone uh, prices uh, high prices don't seem to concern anybody at the moment so um, just kind of keep that in mind we'll want to watch that carefully because if it does reverse it could reverse quickly let's take a look at our t2122 this probably gives us the biggest reason for pause we ended up finishing up yesterday up here in the bearish reversal zone and we're gapping higher this morning so we're going to be really close to being maxed out here on um, the t2122 indicator um, up here here in that bearish reversal zone and this is the thing I just hate seeing this in the market because it's such an uncomfortable market to trade we swing in a straight line from oversold to overbought with no stops in between a whole bunch of gap ups and that makes for an uncomfortable situation because if we were to see some selling that opens up that big um, uncomfortable pullback in the market and if you get caught up in the hype and chase to the upside there could be that big um, whoopsie um, if um, those bears were to come in and I'm not saying they will but that makes for an uncomfortable situation swinging straight up um, in that move and it's what this market has been this year it's a it's an all-or-nothing market and that's why it's been so challenging because we swing from these unbelievable sell-offs to unbelievable buying opportunities um, with no stop in between and really no breath and usually gaps as we move through these big swinging cycles to the upside so be a little bit careful here and then let's take a look at our t2108 now i gotta tell you it's pretty remarkable t2108 we've only got 40 percent of our stocks 
above our 40 day moving average. We're setting new record highs and we continue to do it with fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer stocks holding us up. I wonder how much longer that can continue. It, it seems to be an odd circumstance to have so few stocks actually um, showing good technical patterns in the charts, yet setting new record highs in this, um, this um, amazing ability for um, traders to just ignore the market internals and buy, buy, buy. That said, there's no reason to believe here that we can't continue higher in that pattern. Um, it's very reminiscent of 1999 and 2000 um, at the moment. Let's take a look at our T2107. T2107, very similar situation. We continue in a downtrend, uh, very strong downtrend. We're pressing into some resistance levels in the chart. We only have about 40% of our stocks above 41% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average. That's a remarkable circumstance. And here we are setting new record highs in the market. Um, it, it is a um, amazing disparity between the haves and the have nots in the market. There's a select few and particularly big tech that is ruling the roost and those select few, as long as they can continue, they are the big players in the market. As long as they can continue to press those higher, and nobody seems to care about how high price they go, um, we can continue this, but one has to wonder what happens if that suddenly were to snap. So watch that close. Um, just be careful not chasing or being overly extended in a market that stretched out like this. And then let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 yesterday had a little bit of increase in breadth, which was kind of surprising um, seeing the low volume. Um, what that meant is there was probably enough on the bearish side to kind of hold that in there. We ended up holding this little price support hanging on to that um, downside trend break. So um, we'll want to keep an eye on this. Um, if we hold this level of price support and we see those bears come in, this is where the T2122 could spike up. If those bulls maintain control and that breadth remains um, light, we could see that drift back down into that wedging pattern and then who knows how much longer we can continue to wedge out um, and continue to press the market higher. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, pretty light, um, not a surprise here at the end of the year, not a whole lot going on, but we do have Case Schiller um, here this morning that we'll wanna pay attention to. Um, consensus has that coming in pretty flat. So as long as we come in around there, we're probably going to be just fine here on that economic report. And, you know, um, look how much we rallied yesterday with really no data. Um, it was just all pushed to the upside. So no reason to believe it couldn't happen today. Um, keep in mind, we do have some bond auctions here that might be the most notable thing here um, on the day other than that case Schiller, but um, I don't think that really matters. We're just in that melt up mode here um, right now. Nobody really seems to care too much. And then keep in mind as you plan forward, we're going to have international trading goods and petroleum status. We get some pending home sales in there on Wednesday um, as we kind of slide into this new year. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And interestingly enough, our earnings calendar is extremely light. We have three companies on the calendar. We have only one confirmed for the day. Um, um, and, you know, maybe somewhat notable. CALM will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Other than that, um, we have a dead day here uh, in the market with the bulls uh, pushing very, very hard. So um, what does that mean? Well, um, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. And if you guys could do me a favor before we do that, if you could please make sure and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful in how you plan your day, please make sure, leave that, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. It helps the channel to continue to grow 
got to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. It means a lot to me. And also, guys, I want to just a big shout out to those folks who um, aren't members of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options and want to support this kind of content and have been supporting the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link. You'll find that just below the title of the video as well. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. These, um, you should never ever take someone else's trade idea and just blindly follow it. You need to do your own evaluations, understand the risk of each and every trade, and make sure it fits your trading style and your trading plan before jumping in to any position. Let's take a look at a couple of these stocks. Um, yesterday, I placed um, some new price alerts on charts. Take a look at BMY. I really like the way BMY is setting up here. We've punched up through some resistance in the chart. Notice we're holding a rather steep trend in here, but we punched through some resistance in the chart. We're holding that in here. Um, a bullish move in the market could have every reason to believe that BMY continues to move to the upside. So keep an eye on BMY. Um, you could also look at um, charts like Lilly, Eli Lilly, also very, very strong. This is in that healthcare sector, um, holding up really, really well. Notice that Eli Lilly breaking through some resistance in here. We're going to retest some highs here in the chart and um, pushing on up Eli Lilly looking good. You could take a look at um, uh, Pfizer. Pfizer's also in a very nice pattern. Notice we've pushed up through um, all-time highs here in Pfizer. We're resting. We've got this little con um, trend in play that may have to rest a little bit longer, but Pfizer looking quite good. In that same um, same area, it certainly would be worth keeping an eye on J&J. &J. Notice J&J's pushed back up, broke through some resistance. We're testing that area as support, seeing those buyers stepping up in here. So any consolidating rest or pullback in here might be an opportunity to pick up some J&J &J to the upside. So that healthcare sector looking very good and very strong. Uh, drug, drug manufacturers um, certainly very, very strong. Let's take a look at um, how about United um, Health? United Health continuing to stretch out to the upside. Now, this is a pretty expensive stock, obviously not for everyone, but um, my goodness, we just continue to stretch these healthcare and, and just run, run, run to the upside um, on these stocks. So, one for the list, something to keep an eye on. You might want to also take a look at some kind of some stocks that have been really, really beaten down but are starting to come up out of bottoms. Take a look at Verizon. This entire sector, communication sector, has been overly beat down. And you can see trying to come up out of this bottom, notice we've pushed through the downtrend here in this chart. We're breaking through some levels of price resistance here. And now we're just kind of resting out here. Keep an eye on this, a big dividend payer here in Verizon. If this starts to hold up in here, this could be that nice upside move. And again, Again, that rotation to more of a safety type stock, and we're seeing a lot of that right now where some of those safety stocks are picking up. And when I mean safety, kind of more of the defensive dividend paying stock starting to pick up some strength and look pretty good. Verizon is one of those. You might also take a look at AT&T. AT&T perking up here, coming up strongly up out of this bottom. There's a nice little W formation here, pushing up through resistance, and now we're trying to rest and consolidate that. Watch for that next opportunity for AT&T to maybe push on through and start moving back up. Now, talking about some of those defensive sectors, um, take a look at Mondelez. Mondelez, a very um, you know, old, boring um, Mondelez in here, looking very, very strong, breaking through resistance levels, holding them as support very steep in this rally. That is a concern for me, but I gotta say, um, right now there's a major rotation into these old defensive sector names, so keep an eye on that. You could take a look at um, 
Schmuckers here. Schmuckers running up in a nice upside trend here. Now we did have a stronger than well, a little bit more uncomfortable pullback than I actually like in that move, but we're still holding it in here on this trending area and we're holding some bigger support areas in that chart. So keep an eye on smuckers. We saw um, some moves here, KHC. Kraft Heinz pushing up. There's that W formation again coming up out of that bottom, holding some support. And there we are. Friday or yesterday, we saw that little bit of bullish action trying to push us up. Now, keep in mind, we still have quite a little resistance in this chart to have to deal with. But KHC is another one of those defensive sector stocks coming around. I keep mentioning PepsiCo. I've been mentioning PepsiCo for some time now. That continues in this upside move again defensive sector if we take a look at coke coke also breaking through some resistance showing lots of bullishness trying to retest some highs here looking very very strong so lots going on in that defensive sector if you're looking for something short you might want to take a look at some stocks that are failing or showing some downtrends underneath their 50-day moving average now these had a rally back yesterday but take a look at energy energy in here pushing back up yesterday pretty strongly but let's notice we are still whoops my tool changed on me give me just a second um, we're still in this downtrending pattern here we're right up against that price resistance in the chart and if we take a look um, um, right here we're underneath our 50-day moving average this is a classic potential pattern where we fail right in there around that 50-day moving average so watch that carefully it'll be an interesting balance here to see if inflation continues to push energy higher or if the COVID numbers and the slowdowns that we're starting to see in other countries um, might affect demand here. So watch that carefully. Another one in that area might be the financials. Now we know we've got earnings coming up here before too long in the financials here in just a few weeks. We're going to kick off a, a new round of earnings. But notice right in here we're pushing back up into resistance um, in that chart. There's that downtrend and that potential that we could fail underneath that 50-day moving average in those financials. So watch that closely if you are looking for something on the short side um, that might be an interesting way to pick up some of that uh, negative delta so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for being here truly appreciate all of the kind support the kind words the kind comments you guys are awesome y'all take care be safe and remember um, hit run candlesticks and right way options will be closed on Thursday and Friday. Although the market will be open on Thursday, I will not be here. Just going to take some time off. Um, this low volume market is not something I want to trade all that heavily. So um, just going to spend some time with family and prepare for the next year. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning.